It has been 33 years since a bloody crackdown in Beijing. On June 4th in 1989, the Chinese government sent troops and tanks to break up peaceful protests, crushing a weeks-long wave of demonstrations calling for a political change an action against corruption. The, three decades later, China continues its crackdown on Tiananmen Square commemorations. The country's communist regime has cited public safety and order as a reason for not allowing candlelight, candlelit vigils to mark the crackdown. Beijing has tightened the security around the square. Large parts of the famous Victoria Park in Hong Kong, where the Tiananmen massacre vigils were held, have been shut down by the police. The police also want residents not to step out for gatherings. Authorities want people not that going to the park on June 4th could put them at risk of breaking the law. Listen in. I would stress that if you are staying together with a group of people uh, at the same place at the same time and with a, with a common purpose to express uh, certain views, it is already uh, meeting the definition of a uh, public of a meeting and depending on the number of persons uh, at the scene that may contravene offenses including an authorized assembly or, or due to the act may even contribute other more serious offenses. Remembering the Chinese government's brutal clampdown on peaceful protesters has been forbidden in the mainland, but semi-autonomous Hong Kong was once a place where large-scale remembrance was still tolerated. The change came after Beijing imposed a wide-reaching national security law in 2019 in reaction to citywide pro-democracy protests as China strives to remove all reminders of the bloody 1989 crackdown. It has gone to exhaustive lengths to erase Tiananmen from collective memory, omitting it from history textbooks, censoring online discussions and removing related monuments from various places. Ho Beijing has even prosecuted the vigils organizer, the Hong Kong Alliance, over incitement to subversion. In September last year, its leaders were arrested and their museum was shuttered after a police raid. The authorities had restricted gatherings in 2020 and 2021 as well, citing coronavirus restrictions. In Taiwan's capital, Taipei, activists have decided to gather in remembrance of protesters. Taiwan's president denounced China's bid to systematically erase the collective memory of the June 4 crackdown in Hong Kong. She said, and I quote, such brute force cannot erase people's memories. When democracy is threatened and authoritarianism in the world is expanding, we need to uphold democratic values. Meanwhile, people gathered at the Victims of Communism Memorial in Washington, D.C., marking the 33rd anniversary of the massacre. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken also paid tribute to the pro-democracy student protesters, saying, and I quote again, these brave individuals will not be forgotten. Hundreds of Chinese expats held a vigil in the city of Melbourne, commemorating the 33rd anniversary of China's Tiananmen crackdown. Many of them enumerated the horrific experiences of the incident. On June 4th, in 1989, Chinese troops backed by tanks crushed peaceful demonstrators, mostly students who were demanding democracy, prompting global condemnation. Hundreds, by some estimates, thousands were killed in the crackdown. In fact, the footage of a lone protester standing in front of a line of tanks has now become one of the most powerful symbols of the 21st century. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.